Welcome to Big Snap for Dark. Thank you, saying, <laughs> thank you so much for staying tuned in, tapped in, and turned on. I'm your host, Atisha Yolfer. We're going to go ahead and get started here. I said all my readings with these cards be accurate and specific and bring blessings to everybody involved. Please help me stay centered in my higher self so I may clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine messages that wish to come through this reading. If you guys haven't already joined the fam, you know what to do. Smash the subscribe button and the bell right next to it. That way you don't miss our energy update from me. And we're going to go ahead, we're doing Earth Signs. So happy super full moon. This is what you guys are here for. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, you guys make sure if you want your own individual uh, sun sign readings, you tap into the membership services. I just didn't have time to do individual signs anymore. I tried to do it on Monday. It just wasn't happening, honey. Okay. Um, so you can always do that or just order a reading on my website, vixenafterdark.com. Everything will be in the description box down below. Keep in mind, scammers are about, I would never ask you for a reading, okay, on all social media platforms. You guys also, too, I want to mention, I do have my Etsy shop, so I'm starting to put ads out for it, finally. Um, <laughs> but you can't see everything, but um, go check it out, Vixen Elite Healing. My metaphysical shop is there as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's see. Oh, let's talk about the full moon. So... The full moon is going to be in Capricorn, just so you guys are aware. Um, if you guys don't follow me already, official Vixen, After Dark, I do talk about this stuff on my website. So, super moon is going to be in Capricorn today, okay, which is the 13th. It's also called the Buck Moon. Um, it's going to be the biggest and brightest moon of the year. And Capricorn is really the final earth sign on the zodiac wheel. And so that symbolizes maturity and, you know, um, your finances, the industry, um, you know, your uh, pretty much your foundation. Right. Um, so Capricorn's opposite sign is Cancer. So Capricorn and Cancers are going to be feeling this a little bit more than anybody else. OK, I'm just just putting it out there. Um, in Cancer, it deals with the responsibilities and, you know, of caring and nurturing um, in the domestic sense. So wherever you have uh, Capricorn in your chart, you're going to leave a little bit of cancer energy to even that out and balance it out. Okay. Capricorn's responsibilities are lay in the public atmosphere. You know, everything that's done in the public. Okay. So, um, the full moon in Capricorn, it's a period of reckoning. It's, you know, for issues regarding like having like that work life balance. It's letting go of old patterns, beliefs, behaviors, all the things. Okay. So both Cancer and Capricorn are uh, concerned with, you know, past shit, like um, maybe changing traditions um, or upholding them or bringing them back out. Okay. But during the full moon, you want to focus on uh, breaking free from. Uh, you know, your family's expectations and really creating your own legacy at this time. So that's what that energy is going to bring. I don't know about you, but I've been pumping content like crazy this week. So I've been feeling that energy already. <laughs> so let's go ahead for Capricorn, um, Taurus and Virgo. This is for your sun, moon or rising signs. I always say, keep in mind, um, if this one does not resonate, go ahead and check out that as well. Uh, throughout the week, I, Mondays, I do water signs. Tuesdays is fire. Today's earth. Tomorrow is air. All right. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Mmm. I like this. A lot of crown chakra energy here. Okay. So for you guys, uh, the focus is really going to be... Um, Lots of learning here. Some of you guys might just be introverted and want to go within. We do have here um, card number 31. You guys might be learning a course or learning more about yourself and who you are, what you want to become, and all of the things. Okay, I feel as if that's going to be a main focus for you guys here um, with the learning card, card number 31. It's all about learning how to, you know, make sure you got all the pieces to the puzzle, building the foundation, getting things in order, um, which is total Capricorn energy. Also Leo too. Uh, Taurus is really going to be grounding um, everybody, every single astrological sign. That's what's really going to pull us together within the planets that's going on. So, yeah, you guys could be working on your dreams with card number 33. If you've seen a lot of 333s, that is, you know, a little hint from your angels. <coughs> Excuse me. 
letting you know to hey focus on you right now okay so i really like this here you guys are going to probably be thinking of new projects to get into might be learning a course maybe take on a new opportunity or a new investment something that um will definitely check all the boxes off here on things that you want to accomplish in life as far as your short-term and long-term goals so i really like that here some of you guys will be of service this week as well or that could actually really help you get out of any type of um energy that you don't want to be in being of service here so you guys might either want to be in hermit card number 25 which equals seven um so some of you guys might want to you know maybe sometimes when you are of service to others it takes your mind off of what you're really going through so it really actually kind of helps you out okay um, we also have here serenity so yeah you guys want peace and you don't want anybody running around acting all crazy during this time um card number 12 equals three it's like you want to go out and you want to have fun but you want to enjoy yourself in a relaxing way in a peaceful manner something that's going to lift your spirits or give you good vibes good energy something very subtle not too crazy like a concert um you guys will want to do something like a kickback or a movie and wine you know what i mean something like that something very subtle here so you guys might be out about traveling this week um you know um just very light things not too not too crazy here you're not trying to be on the scene scene um you might dip out for a second but that's about it <laughs> um we're gonna bring some more uh, our majestic oracles here let's see what do we have for our capricorn taurus virgo don't forget guys if this is resonating go ahead and give this video a thumbs up okay that way the video can percolate and circulate I don't know why I've been shuffling all the cards four times instead of three. Capricorn Taurus Virgo, what is their focus for this week? Capricorn Taurus and Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. Mm. So a lot of you guys um, could be learning, like I said, learning new courses or maybe about history and things that's going on. You have the divine lineage coming through here for you. So I feel as if definitely divine may have stepped in or fate may have taken over on certain situations. You're probably wondering like, damn, why did this happen? Well, it happened for your highest good. I feel as if here the divine lineage is definitely also to card number six or it's like... It's like you want to get back to your roots. You want to be able to be you and be the best you you can be. You want to be around people that really fuck with you and love you. And like, you don't, no fakeness, no, none of that. It's like, you don't want to meet no one's representative. It's like you really are trying to focus on the people that actually pour into you. Um, you know, one hit and washes the other kind of energy. So it's all about reciprocity for you guys here. I feel as if definitely why the lineage card came out. Oh, we do have creativity. I like this. So you could be get, gathering with other people here. Um, maybe if you're an entrepreneur or working with other co-workers or even family members or within your community, I feel as if definitely uh, creativity is the name of the game for you. Um, it's something that, you know, makes you feel good, makes you feel happy. Um, you might even help somebody, I don't know, decorate for a party or something. Uh, card number 12, which equals three as well. So lots of threes here for you. It's a trinity number. You might want to look that up. Um, see what it means for you. Uh, the creativity card here, you know, this could be maybe it's time to start that business or maybe it's something that you want to dabble in, maybe even a hobby, um, something that um, you really actually care for here. Uh, we do also have pleasure. So, you know, <laughs> in Capricorn turns Virgo energy, you might be a little in the boom boom room um, with this uh, pleasure card here, card number 11 is a master number. So you may be receiving pleasure or giving pleasure. Now, pleasure can be uh, array of things here so you take that how you want it okay <laughs> let's go ahead and go uh with the beauty tarot here and get some more insight on all of our oracle cards and you guys don't forget i am giving out readings as well so um you can always order a personalized reading from me at vixenafterdark.com it can be a recorded version or we can go live on zoom on the membership services Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn Taurus Virgo here? Hold on, Pepper. My cat wants to go outside. Hold on, guys. Capricorn Tur Taurus and Virgo. Taurus. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Hopefully you guys are doing well. It is hump day. Give me one second. All right, that does actually bring a little bit more light as well. <laughs> Sorry if it was so dark before. 
So, um, let's see here what we've got going on for you, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Um, I feel as if here, definitely, um, you could have some people that are impatient around you, or maybe you're impatient about a certain situation. Um, it's trying to, like, you're trying to dominate something, or you could be in that, uh, excessive energy or trying to control something. Um, or that could be, uh, someone around you. You got the Emperor in reverse here. It's Aries energy. Um, so that could be that as well. I feel as if they could be very careless and foolish around you, uh, with the Fool card in reverse. Or maybe there's some type of indecision. That could be you or someone else's energy. Um, so be aware of that. Uh, it's going to be a, a lot of signs are in the indulgent. That's also uh, indulging or neglecting, um, excuse me, um, being irresponsible or gullible. So just be aware of people trying to come into your energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So negative forces could be around you, especially your environment or at work. So be aware of who you're hanging around. Um, you can always control that. Sometimes it's not always good to say, yes, I want to go. Sometimes you want to sit back and hear about it later, okay? Um, there might be some type of disappointment or you feel stuck in a situation as well with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse um, throughout this uh, situation here. Um, so that could bring in a little bit of impatience. Um, I feel as if here you might be having a hard time to express how you feel throughout this week. So um, if you do, if that's the case um, with communication right now, I would recommend maybe journaling it first or think about your thoughts first and, and then express it, okay? Um, so... Uh, what's to come here is also, you know, I feel as if but with the Seven of Pentacles, it's definitely, um, I feel as if you've been consistent with certain things and very successful. So you're going to reap that, those benefits as well from your any past efforts. This Seven of Pentacles energy is all about profit. So lots of money coming in or you have a sudden gain of a large amount of money. Um, on some type of investment or a stock or um, some type of milestone you're going to hit uh, throughout this full moon energy here. So uh, just be patient. Uh, you do have the temperance card here. Really find a balance um, right now as well. Um, some of you guys might be trying to figure out what is my purpose. You know, that's probably why you want to go within divine lineage. You might get some messages um, or some hints as to what you should be tapping into here. So something that's very rhythmic and feel as if you're going to have a, a harmony and a type of balance um, and self-control within that department as far as figuring out what do you want to put your time and energy into as far as building a foundation. Also, too, some of you guys might be wanting to get some rest. We've got the Four of Swords here. Um, rest and recuperate. This is the time to do that as well. I know it's summertime. Everyone wants to get out, but your energy might not be in party mode. You might just want to kick back with a couple of people or one person, you know, have a little you know, a little boom, boom night, you know what I mean? So it feels like here, Four of Sword Energy is definitely all about rest. This can also mean some of you guys um, may be meditating a little bit more than normal or recovering possibly here. Um, you know, hopefully you guys weren't sick, but you could be just recovering from, you know, a, a good night out <laughs> um, with the Four of Swords Energy. Um, you might want to take a time out on certain things. Some things just don't appeal to you anymore, okay? Um, but I feel as if definitely a four sword energy is also a well-earned break. Um, and you'll get back at it the next day. So let's go ahead and get some advice for you, uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo, and see what is, uh, after the spread here, what is some good advice in order for you to navigate this energy? Going towards Virgo, what is some advice? What is some advice for the collective here? Advice or what? Advice. Hmm. Yeah, so once again, we've got the Eight of Pentacles here. Uh, in reverse, I'm seeing that that is definitely a sign, like, take a break. If you guys have two or three jobs, you're working a lot, that's really spirit coming in. Once again, saying, take a break, you guys, with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Or it could be maybe something that you've put your time and energy into. It could be a relationship, a friendship, a business partnership, or even your job that you have. It's kind of like you don't even want to focus on that anymore. You want to focus on something else with the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel as if either you're done exploring a situation or a person here. Um, when these came out together, 
uh, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's like you don't want to explore that road anymore. You want something new, something refreshing, something vibrant, whether that's a new person in your life or um, it's just something new, something different, okay? We also have Judgment in reverse. I feel as if you guys could be going through a little bit of healing or some type of situation as far as maybe something legal possibly or not um, or something that has to deal with legal matters in a sense. Um, I feel as if maybe you are in a healing energy. That could be why you want to be an introvert as well. But overall here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, once again, you got Seven of Pentacles. That's like literally whatever seeds you planted, they're coming to fruition. So that came out twice, okay? Whatever effort you put in, whether that's a connection uh, with someone else or it could be about your finances, something that you're building right now is really looking up right now. You're about to hit that Ten of Pentacles. You're on Seven right now, so you're about to really get it. Really building that foundation here. Some of you guys might, um, you know, Spirit maybe say celebrate. Okay, maybe spirit saying, hey, be patient, celebrate. It's time for you to celebrate. Congratulate yourself on how far you've came in life, whether that's working on your mental, your physical, uh, whatever it is for you. Um, also, too, that can also mean maybe an Aries Leo or Sagittarius might pop the question. This is a marriage card here, or maybe you guys just want to go celebrate together and build a foundation. So that could be something. So you're going to receive some type of message here with the Page of Wands, or you may have to deliver a message to someone else. Someone that has a lot of passion it could be Aries Leo Sag again. Um, so this could be in the love department, possibly. I don't know what that could be for you, or you might get delivered good news here. Pages bring messages. Could be someone a little bit younger if someone is um, coming in as a new suitor as well, okay? Um, but you guys are going to hold strong with the Strength card here. Or Spirit is telling you to be strong. You've got this. That's Leo energy. It's kind of like saying... You know, it's like you may look tough on the outside, but on the inside you've been, you know, going through a lot. Um, I know Capricorns were, so it's kind of like, you know, just really take your time. You have the strength. You have infinite strength. It's just all in your mind here, okay? Uh, the Empress card as well. So utilize your intuition uh, with all situations that you are going through, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, that way you can get through anything right now at this time. Some of you guys might be pregnant with ideas or Spirit is telling you to get creative. Um, the Empress energy is definitely that creative energy here. Sometimes you guys might be sitting back and evaluating and observing other people. But I feel as if definitely Queen of Wands, you guys are definitely going to sit on your throne. Um, and, and, and you're going to have compassion and passion. Or Queen of Wands is also the energy of someone that's like, they know what they want. They know how to get it as well. Um, but you're going to do it in your own, you're going to do it with finesse. <laughs> All right, that is your reading. If you guys want any personalized readings, you guys go to VixenAfterDark.com. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it. And I'll definitely see you on the next one. Peace.